guys, this is Echo Soundworks with another tutorial for ADSR and MassiveSynth.com. If you're not subscribed to the YouTube channel and you want to do that, you can at YouTube.com forward slash ADSR Toots. So that was a demo of the sound slash sounds we make in today in Massive. This tutorial is on how to make Massive sound like an access virus. So just a quick side note, I do own an access virus. Um, it's I think it's ironic that the virus got kind of pigeonholed as like this unison super saw huge stack of saws type sound it's capable of a lot more diverse sounds but um, a lot of people who don't own ma uh, of access virus and they have soft soft sense like massive or silent like it's always been a thing to try to get it to sound as big as a uh, virus so it's you can't actually get it to sound as big as a virus. The virus is capable of a lot higher voice counts than computers can really do right now. I have a 12 core Mac and you can see these three sounds. Watch the CPU meter. It pushes it pretty hard. <laughs> I mean, that does sound really good, but if you're going to use any of these tips and tricks, I would definitely render to audio afterwards, which you would do typically with a access virus anyway. So first thing we're going to do, I'm going to solo some of these sounds so you can kind of hear them. There's the first sound. Second sound. And third sound. These second and third sounds are not brand new sounds, just slight variations of this main sound. So what we're gonna do for, for the tutorial, I'm going to recreate this main sound and then show you some of the ideas, tricks, tips I use to change the sound. So let me, I, let me mute those other two and I'll make a new instance in Massive here. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna turn on all three oscillators and in all three oscillators, I'm gonna select the pulse virtual analog pulse waveform. And one thing I've noticed with uh, trying to create like these huge, huge sounds and massive is it helps to, instead of using different wave tables in different oscillators, to use the same wave table in each oscillator, do your stacks, do your high voice count, things like that, and uh, detune it that way and then stack it with another instance of massive using a different waveform it makes it much much bigger so this first this first sound is just a stack of kind of a saw wave and i'm not even going to detune this one in the pitch i'm going to leave all of these where they all these knobs on the first two oscillators where they are i'm just going to turn the amp down a little on the third um, oscillator and i'm going to turn down to master because we're going to boost the um we're going to we're going to boost the unisono up so let's just hear what that sounds like right now and also you'll see that I have 32 voices in here instead of 16 by default it's 16 so that's what's hitting the CPU is these really high voice counts so we'll get to that as we move on but I'm gonna activate the bright noise and turn up the amp a little just to give the sound a little bit more high-end I'm going to use a low pass 2 turn the resonance all the way down so right now it sounds like we killed the sound, but we'll go to our second our second envelope. And in our second envelope, we'll we'll keep the attack where it is. We'll turn the decay down to just a little bit under halfway. Same with the level. And then let's turn up the release a good amount for the sound. So this release knob should just be a little bit above halfway. And this line right here should be fairly close to uh, being near that box in that right after the trig zero reset. All right, and I'm gonna drag that crosshair up and modulate uh, about just a little bit, not, not all the way of the filter cutoff. All right, I'm gonna clear out this macro down here and I'm gonna make a new one for the cutoff so I can control that if I want. All right. And let's go on to envelope three real quick. And in envelope three, I'm going to turn the attack all the way down, the decay down about halfway, I mean, a little bit under halfway, and same with the level. I'm going to boost the release to just a hair above halfway again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, mod I'm going to modulate the pan position of left and right in my pan knob. 
just to help spread out the sound and make it a little bit wider. And now that we have, that's pretty much the bare bones of the sound established. Let's go on to our oscillator tab, and I'm going to give it a little bit of vibrato. All right, and I'm going to go to the voicing tab, crank that up to 16, turn on the pitch cutoff for the unison spread and bump that out a little. And then I'm going to make this 32 voices. All right, and now let's go to our fifth LFO. And in the fifth LFO, I'm going to sync it. I'm going to do a ratio of 1 to 24 and keep the amp and all that where it is. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this and I'm going to modulate the pitch of oscillator 1 to positive 0.40. You might be asking why I'm modulating the pitch with an LFO instead of like a macro or an envelope. It's because it adds a little bit more movement to the sound and makes it a little bit thicker because this, this LFO, the low frequency oscillator, is moving in and of itself and now we're adding a slight variance in pitch. So it kind of creates like a vibrato detune effect, which I like. So I pitched oscillator 2 down to negative point 0.20. Alright, so now I'm going to go add the effects for this sound, which are important for it, because the Access Virus has some really good reverbs in it. So I'm going to turn the dry wet down, turn the size up, turn the density up, and turn the color up, so it's kind of slanting like this. Alright, and now I'm going to activate the synced delay for this main sound and I'm going to use a ratio of 3 and 16 and keep the right ratio where it is and turn the dry wet down, turn the damp up and the feedback up. Alright and now I'm going to activate my EQ and in the EQ I'm going to boost the high shelf a little, turn the frequency up for the high shelf a little. Alright, and now let's go to our fourth envelope to really finish up the sound here. And I'm going to turn the attack in. I'm going to turn the decay down just a little bit, the level down just a little bit past halfway, I would say. And the release, I'm going to turn that release up to actually above halfway. So this line should kind of be in that word reset on Trig Zero Reset. All right, so there is the first sound. So the main things to take away from this would be uh, as far as like the tips and tricks of getting massive to sound more like a virus. Uh, low pass two sounds a little bit closer to the um, filters in a virus than low pass four. Because it lets a little bit more of the high frequencies come through. Boosting uh, the voices is obviously really important to 16 and the if your computer can take it, um, the higher voice count you can go with the max setting, the better. So if I go up to like 40, let's try, let's try 40 for this. It gets closer and closer sounding to a virus, but like I said, viruses can stack hundreds and hundreds of voices. So you can get close with massive, but this definitely helps to make things thicker and bigger. And I also like detuning with an M with a with an LFO instead of an envelope or like a macro makes it sound a little bit thicker to me and then I showed you this trick in another video using uh, the envelopes to kind of create this pan width instead of using this uh, pan position which just too much of it can really kill so if I turn it on in mono it doesn't affect the sound but if you drag this down here it'll sound different it's really wide but it kills the phase so just boosting this down a little is another trick you can use to help spread out the sound and get it bigger without destroying your face. So let me unsolo this and bring these other patches back into the mix. So let me turn these down a little bit. About, let's do 14. All right, so that first sound is done. So what, what I basically did was I just copied it. 
um, and made a new ins a s a duplicate instance of Massive. And you'll, you'll see that all these settings are fairly similar. Low pass 2, same macro, modulation settings. But what I did here, which is really important, that you want to uh, kind of apply to your sound, I detuned it first. I detuned oscillator 1 and oscillator 2. And then I selected these classic waveforms and blended them with one instance of that uh, virtual analog pulse whip. And I went to my voicing count, I turned it down to 24 just so it didn't slam my computer as hard. So there's the first two changes. And then instead of keeping these uh, pitch values the same, I detuned a little bit up, a little bit down for the oscillators. And the big difference in this sound is you'll notice that it's pan center in my DAW. But there's more going on out right. So what I did was, let me turn this off. If I just pan this out right, right, it's still going, it's still playing equal in ma in massive because the pan knob center, but in my DAW, it's panned out right. Well, what I, a little trick I found out was, remember in this first, this main patch, I showed you this trick on using your envelopes to modulate the pan position. Well, what I did was in the second patch, I just used one of them and I kept it center in my DAW and so it creates a really interesting sound because there's some sound still in the center but it's it's like delayed, it has like a sample delay on it which is really cool so basically and then once I had that sound I liked how that sounded Um, I duplicated massive again and did the same thing by changed out the wave the wave tables and so let me open up this instance and it's just barely different so instead of using classic I used three instances of carbon I had the I have the exact same uh, settings for for uh, detune or I'll, let me make that 0.17 so it is so now it's the exact same settings for the detune I'll open up both of these so this one is the one that's panned right and this is the one that's panned left so you'll see that very, very similar settings. All I did was use carbon instead of these classics and that uh, virtual pulse width. Same settings on everything else. Voicing is even the same, 24. And then I did that trick with the panning, but I panned it to the opposite direction. I did, of, I did real quick want to note that I turned off the delay on both of these patches that I have panned because it just got way too muddy with it. So here's both patches. And here is all three together. All right, guys, so that's pretty much the sound. Like I said, the main things you want to take away from this are if your computer can handle it, jack up the voice count in Massive, uh, pan things with envelopes, and make two different instances of Massive to kind of create a wider stereo image using different waveforms. And you can get a really good, huge kind of access virus sound. So if you have any questions or comments, let me know below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you haven't checked out MassiveSynth.com, head on over there. Tons of great stuff. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.